This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. Pull up your big boy britches and put your floppy hats on. We're about to become one with Mother Nature in today's video where I teach you everything you need to know about custom trees. So you see these here, all these different trees. Don't they look awesome? Like this one with the tentacle. Isn't that crazy? And we got this one. It's all magmified with the red leaves and this one it's all spiky and this I don't even know what's going on with this one so yeah I'm gonna teach you how to do this today there's two different ways to do this I'm sure there's probably others but I'm gonna show you two ways to do this today the first way we're gonna do this is for all of you vanilla heads out there who don't want to play modded don't want to install mods don't want to have anything to do with mods scared to death mods we're gonna use a line of code and we're gonna modify it just a little bit and I'm gonna show you how to do it I'm gonna walk you through it. it's gonna be a piece of cake and then second way I'm gonna show you there is a mod that makes this super simple so you know that one will be quick okay to start off with everything you need is gonna be down in the description below so go look at it now so you can follow along first thing you are going to need in order to do this is a line of code but in order to use that code you need to be in admin mode so you're gonna hit enter on your keyboard you're gonna type slash admin and then you're going to hit enter it's going to take me out of admin because i was already in admin so i'm just going to put that right back so now i'm in admin mode so now i can put in commands like the slash spawn item command and then that is the command we're actually going to use what you're going to do is you're going to take that code that's down there at the bottom and you are going to paste it into notepad so let's hop over to notepad and you'll see what it looks like so this is what your code should look like right now in your notepad you should have a set of x's right here and you should have a set of x's right here those are the only thing you are going to mess with in this code except for these numbers right here if you want to you don't have to mess with the numbers but you can all this will do is change the base color don't ask me how this works because I don't know it's decimal color I don't understand decimal color it's not hex I don't know what it is add random numbers in there till you get something you like anyway so what you're going to want is a stem and you're going to replace that here and then you're going to want a foliage type and you're going to replace that here but firespark where do i find out that information well the wiki has that information for you right here so all we have to do is go over to the wiki and it has a list and link of course is provided down below it is directly below this code so what you want is the first thing we have here is the trunk types that is going to be your stem and then if you just take a little scroll down you will see leaf types that is your foliage now the only thing you need to pay attention to is this line of stuff right here so when we go in and we put in a stem type you would put in twirl you don't need to capitalize it if you put in a capitalize it's probably just going to screw things up i'm going to walk you through it so let's find one that we like here uh let's do this one so all i'm gonna do and i don't have to change the cap because this one already doesn't have a cap so that's awesome i'm just gonna highlight over it like this i'm gonna copy it now we're just gonna go back to our notepad and we're gonna highlight over those x's like so and we're gonna paste now i got a little extra here we don't need that little extra it should be the quotation mark and then immediately into your word so if you get the little extra space like i had there make sure you remove that or you can just type it in and not have to deal with any of the, that issue now that we have our stem chosen let's throw in some random numbers just to see if we can change the color you know why not get crazy with it okay now we need a foliage name so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our website and we're gonna scroll down now something to keep in mind you see here how this has three words now when you paste this into your notepad for your code you don't want three words you want one word so what you're gonna do is just jam all this together into one word let me show you an example of that we're gonna skip alien big leaf because I don't want to deal with the fruit that the alien trees give off also something to keep in mind is some of these give off 
an item and some of the stems give off something other than wood. So depending on what combination you combine, you may get two separate things from your tree when you harvest it. So like for example, you could get um, plant fiber and alien leaf or alien fruit, you know, it's up to you however you combine it. But I'm gonna use green leaves and I'm also gonna show you how to do this without copy and paste if you don't wanna deal with the random stuff that can come from copying and pasting from a web website. Let's go back to our notepad. So I'm gonna highlight these X's right here and I'm just gonna type in green leaves. Now it bumped down a line because it has word wrap on, that's fine, it, it's, it's fine. It, there's no enter there or anything like that. So you can actually stretch out your window and if this was full screen, we wouldn't have that problem. So just ignore the fact that this isn't on one line anymore it's not gonna affect anything. Now, let's change the color of these green leaves. Let's see if we can get something other than green. Let's put in uh, negative 23 right here and see what happens. Now, here's the important part. You are going to select all of this, however you choose to select all, hopefully you know how to do that by now, and you are going to copy it. Now that we have it copied, we are going to go back to Starbound, and all we have to do is hit Enter, and then paste it right in there. And I'm using Control V to paste it. If you are on a Mac, it would be Command V, I think it is. So, and then make sure your cursor isn't under the ground or someplace crazy. Just put your cursor right by the top of your head because that is where your tree sapling is going to spawn. So if we hit enter and everything's good, it should give us a sapling. There we go, we have one new sapling right here is our very custom sapling now let me knock down a couple of these bad boys to get them out of the way so we can see our new sapling and all of its glory so we don't want that that's that's an old one actually i'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete that one to get rid of the confusion and i'm gonna delete that one to get rid of the confusion now here is our new one that we just created and if you don't want to wait i'm going to show you another trick you can actually hit slash and then type in time warp space and then a number like i like 250 seems to be a good number and then hit enter and you'll actually skip time and then you can hit enter your up arrow key and then do it again and there you go you've skipped time and we've grown a tree now that is one funky looking tree and i'm not really sure how much the colors changed on that but i mean that looks kind of uh, baby puke green and not really like green green but there you go that is all there is to it ladies and gents and you can combine any of that stuff on the web page between the combination of the stems and the foliage to get whatever type of custom tree your little hearts desire okay now for all of you who are not afraid to mod your game i provided two links for you down below to the mod that you want the link on steam and the link in the forms either way you know for those of you who have it on steam for those of you who don't however you like to mod it mod your starbound uh the link is provided for you once you have your mod installed you can hit c and you will have new options that you can craft in your crafting menu so we have the sapling toning the sapling maker and the sapling composite the sapling composite basically allows you to take two existing saplings and combine them together into a new sapling so like i could take the stem from this one and the foliage from this one and toss them in this bad boy and it would give me that super simple for those of you who don't want to get crazy you already have trees you just want to combine them on your own there you go that one quick easy done now you want to get fancy with it we're going to go to the sapling maker that's this little thing right here i've placed it down it allows you to easily and quickly choose, see what your foliage is going to look like, which is freaking awesome. I really like this mod. Uh, let's see here. So let's do, let's do this weepy looking thing. And then we want to choose a stem. Some of these don't have pictures, but you can click on them and see the picture down here. And, and even though you don't see an example here. So like there's vine, uh, you can see that root that, that still works. So let's scroll through here. 
let's eat the flesh stem. Let's do flesh stem with green leaves because it's crazy and I like the idea of it. So we're going to hit spawn and you can see we just got a sapling. If I exit out of this and go into my inventory, here is our brand new sapling. Now, I don't like the colors that are going to come with the base. So, because I can already imagine flesh is going to be fleshy colored and, you know, we already seen the other ones green. There's a couple different options you can do here. You can do 10 different colors. You can do 36 different options or you can do 72 different options. And this actually allows you to see the changes. So this will make our foliage pink or purple. I mean, this will make our foliage cyan or blue or whatever color you want to call that. You know, you can clearly see, I'm not going to go through them all because you can clearly see the different variations. All you have to do, this is the great part, you just pull it out. There we go. We just pulled it out. Now let's change the stem. We can do the same thing with the stem. Let's get a crazy look in. Let's get this because I like it. It kind of reminds me of fire. And now you can pull your original out. You still have your original. Now you have new ones as well. You can place them back in there and get even crazier with it. Let's pull out this one. This one looks wild. All right, we're going to hold that one to the side now. And then we're going to, uh, we're just going to toss that one because I just, I decided I don't even like that one. I like where this one's going. Let's throw this in here and let's see what kind of crazy colors we can get for the foliage. Let's do this. I like that. Now you can just come on over here, exit out of all that and uh knock down this disaster of a tree right here oh man we went way crazy there i want I, I forgot to hold down shift and just just blew everything up okay now that we just avoided that imminent disaster let's go back to placing our sapling so here it is here's our crazy looking sapling that we just designed let's skip a little time and see if it'll grow there it is look at that oh man that is a mess but i like it it doesn't even have branches you just gotta use your imagination. They're imaginary branches. Uh, for some reason, our foliage did not color, which is kind of strange. Not sure what happened there. You know what? Let's knock this one down. Let's plant this other one and see if it changed. Maybe this foliage just doesn't change color. Let's plant this one. Skip a little time here. Oh, there we go. That one definitely changed. So there you go. That's how you can make your own custom saplings. Honestly, your easiest bet is to install this mod. If, I mean, if you're worried about mods and them screwing up your game or you're not 100% sure how to mod, then, then don't do it. Don't worry about it. You can use the code that I gave you and spawn in custom trees without any issue whatsoever. But if you don't mind modding and you really just want to get an idea of what your tree is going to look like and be able to actually color it really easily, then use this mod because it's freaking awesome. Real quick, I'll show you guys the, um, the composite sapling. So all we do is we take the trunk from this one. We'll pop that in there. We'll take the foliage from this one, pop it right in there. There you go. It gives us a hundred saplings and you can continuously pull them out. Obviously, that's super cheaty, but we're already cheating with making custom saplings anyway, so it doesn't matter. Skip a little bit of time. There you have it. The combination of those two trees slam together to give you, hey, this one, that one actually kind of works with the foliage a little bit. And that's a heads up too. Some of them end up like this. Sometimes you're, you'll get the uh, trunk here, foliage will be like all the way over here. It doesn't work quite right. So it's kind of like with the tentacle, how it looks like it's wrapping around, doesn't even really connect all the way. You get the idea. All right, we went way too far over for this video. It was supposed to be a quick and easy tutorial. So I'm gonna call it there. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you don't like to comment, just smack the heck out of that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.